Why am I an atheist? A lot of Christians tell me that. I have a lot of Christian friends who say, why are you an atheist? Why don't you believe in God? And I tell them the exact same reason why you don't believe in the tooth fairy. Now, you don't believe in the tooth fairy, you don't believe in fairies. I've seen pictures of fairies, there's books about fairies. Um, you don't believe in leprechauns. Uh, I've seen pictures of leprechauns. Books about leprechauns, movies about leprechauns, movies about fairies. So when Christians say, why don't you believe in God? Just say, for the same reason, you don't believe in fairies and leprechauns. And uh, the same reason you don't believe that the Quran is inspired by God. Or the Bhagavad Gita is inspired by, inspired by God. Or the Book of Mormon is inspired by God. Um, the same reason you don't believe in Allah. Or the same reason you don't believe in Muhammad. Is the reason why I don't believe in the Christian God. You call me a fool. You call me a fool for not believing in God. Uh, well, who's the fool? Somebody who, who believes that food fell from the sky as manna. A man walking on water. In the book of Joshua, it said the sun stood still for a day, for 24 hours. It, the, the, the sun, it's the earth that moves, not the sun. So the earth would have to stop moving and we'd all get thrown off the earth. Uh, you believe that Jesus fed 5,000 people with fish sandwiches, loaves and fishes. Uh, you believe a man rose from the dead after three days. Uh, who's the fool? Who's the fool, really? Who is the fool? A talking donkey in Numbers chapter 22. There's a talking donkey. Who's the fool for believing? You call me a fool. The Bible calls me a fool says, he who says there is no God is who he is a fool. Well, Matthew 5.22 says, if you call your brother a fool, you are liable to the fiery Gehenna. So, who's, who's the real fool? You know, and we don't have a word for an atheist, somebody who doesn't believe in God. We don't have a word for a fairyist, somebody who doesn't believe in fairies. A, a leprechaunist, somebody who doesn't believe in leprechauns. And as Ricky Gervais said, Ricky Gervais, that's G-E-V-A-I-S, Ricky Gervais said, Gervais, he said, if people wouldn't go on inventing gods, us atheists wouldn't have to go on denying them. So... And here's an interesting thing to think of. Um, by the way, my Christian friends never shun me like Jehovah's Witnesses do. Yes, I do have Christian friends who um, never shun me. They always talk to me in the street. I used to go to a number of their churches. I went to seven different Christian churches after Jehovah's Witnesses. And uh, I came away an atheist. I thought, they're all conflicting, they all say they're the one, and these seven different churches, they said we're the right ones because we do A, B and C, but the others don't do A, B and C, we're, we're the right ones. I thought to myself, they're either uh, all wrong, uh, they're either I think they're all wrong. I think they're all wrong, and I think Christianity is just made up because it's been copied from the Egyptian god Osiris who rose from the dead. And do you believe in that, are you Christians out there, do you believe that Osiris rose from the dead? Do you believe the Roman god Mithros rose from the dead? People used to believe that way before they believed in Jesus, way before Jesus walked the earth. And for all we know, people say, well, who created 
who created the universe? Somebody must have created it. And I said, well, who made God? And they say that God's always existed. But have you ever thought maybe the universe has always existed? Maybe the universe never had a beginning. Maybe the universe never had a beginning. And it's God. Because God, what do you mean by God? Um, when I eat a nice meal with my wife, Nicole, I sit down and say a prayer and I thank Mother Nature. I say, thank you, Mother Nature, for this beautiful food. And um, thank you for the gift of life, Mother Nature. And my wife says, hey, wait a minute, you're an atheist. My Jehovah's Witness wife says, you can't be praying, you're an atheist. She's Jehovah's Witness and I said, well, I'm, I'm grateful to be alive. And I believe that Mother Nature's God. Mother Nature's always, or, or, always existed. The universe may have always existed. Matter may never have been created. Have you ever thought that? Going back all past eternity? Maybe the universe has all, always been here, but it's forever evolving. And another thing to think about, if you were to get all the religious books, the Bible, the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita, uh, the Torah, the Hadiths, the Tibetan Book of the Dead, if you were to burn all those books and get rid of all those books, get rid of all those books, all the religious writings, get rid of it all, burn, get rid of it, in a thousand years' time, in a thousand years' time, uh, we would have science and we'd have scientific books and the science would still say gravity, law of gravity, step off a building, you fall for your death. That's the law of gravity. But what would we write as religious books? Would we write the same things that's in the Bible and the Quran and the Torah and the Hadiths and the Bhagavad Gita? Would we write the exact same things? No, no, because those books are just made up. But science always looks for truth. And if the hypothesis is wrong, they will just ditch that hypothesis, you know. And uh, scientists do get it wrong and gladly say, well, we were wrong about that. Scientists may never know exactly where life came from, how it started, how it began. But because we don't know the answers to those questions, we don't say, well, we don't know, we don't understand. God must have done it. And I highly recommend that you people who don't really understand evolution, look up Jerry Coyne, evolutionary biologist, Richard Dawkins. Look at their videos and try to learn to understand how evolution works. They're evolutionary biologists. You may not understand it all, but they don't understand it all too, because they don't have all the pictures to the puzzle. They don't have all the pictures. They have a lot of the pictures, and it's a bit like detective work. It's a bit like detective work. There's clues, there's, you know, and they may never have the true answer. They may not have all the answers, uh, because we it was so long ago. So... Um, that's basically what I wanted to say. And um, thanks for listening to my video. And uh, the shunning, I'll stop these videos when Jehovah's Witnesses stop shunning me because Christians don't shun me because I'm an atheist. They still talk to me and invite me to their church. They just say, well, come to our church, we'd love to see you, Justin. Just keep quiet about your atheism. Well, why should, be a, why should I be ashamed of being an atheist, you know? And it's kind of lonely, not having a community. It'd be nice if there was an atheist church called Church of the Blessed Atheist. And before I want to go, I'm going to sing a song by Perry Como. Now, Perry Como was born in 1912 and he died in 2001 at the age of 89 and I'm going to sing his 1973 song and I love you so and the song goes and I love you so the people ask me how how I've lived to now 
I tell them I don't know. I guess they understand how lonely life has been. But life began again the day you took my hand. And yes, I know how lonely life can be. The shadows follow me, and the night won't set me free. But I don't let the evening get me down, now that you're around me. The book of life is brief, and once a page is read, all but life is dead, that is my belief. And yes, I know how lonely life can be, the shadows follow me, and the night won't set me free. But I don't let the evening get me down, now that you're around me. Thank you for listening to my video, and that's why I'm an atheist. Same reason that you don't believe in the tooth fairy, or the Quran, or leprechauns. Exact same reason you don't believe in that, I don't believe in the Christian God. Bye then.